and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed. A what? An Israelite indeed. What is his brother? An Israelite indeed. In whom is no God. They say that you want to be an Israelite with no God in your system, man. You don't want to be caught up with any of them things that we're going into. That was a, a seven things that's abomination unto the Lord. Hey, I got a best friend in Israel life. This is the book. You an Israelite, bro. That's <laughs> right. You come through here every day and crazy about like it. Trump. Crazy about hey, it. Hey, that's what You got to have that zeal for the Lord, man. In this thing, man. Right. Right? Yes, right. We truly believe that the Lord gonna come back, destroy the nations. Are we gonna round them up? All right. We gonna put them in slavery. Are we gonna rule over them, man, forever? That's right. And hey, we truly believe in this thing. Bring right? it out. We not half assing it, right? Look, he said he's gonna leave your name for a curse. So when I ask how y'all nationality, you know what y'all say? Oh, I'm black. Or I'm black black. Or I'm brown. Or I'm a, a African American. Or I'm an American black. No, that's a curse. He said you're gonna leave your name for a curse. You're gonna leave Israel for a curse. So people think that they got wisdom of this world because they know trigonometry because they know uh, geometry. Right. That, that's not the wisdom of the Lord, man. The Lord don't care of, about anything in Babylon. He right. doesn't care about uh, being able to, to finesse people, to be able to get over on people, to uh, apply usury to people. Gonna have that demon. When you go home for throwing that down, the most high, next time you look at a cigarette, it might make you throw up. Right. Next time you might think about something, the most high put a spirit on you that you don't ever think about doing that again, brother. Right. So you gotta have faith and fear in the most high that when you go home, you will never do these things again. That's right. So all of this would have been for a waste, brother. It's enough buildings and money for us to have some for the front of us that are building somewhere where we can sit down and have this type of uh, congregation towards the level, man. It's just that being out here. It's just out here. They can try to get out. Uh, it's too cold to be out here in the town. And that's why the Lord said two are better than one. Because when brothers get together, we you know, we can make stuff like that happen. Because we spent our whole lives doing what? What's that worldly really problem of making something out of nothing? You know, we all came from the dirt, man. We all grew up with nothing. But then when you get it, a group of brothers together, they all put in and we can make something happen. You know what I'm going to do? This is me first. I'm gonna go talk to uh, Urban Lee or somebody else, man. Cause we don't need to be out here like this. We can be somewhere else in the building that they, they not using. Yeah. But the they thing, hold the thing about dirt. places like Urban Lee, though, they ran by our enemies. So you, the people you gotta you gotta talk to are the people you're talking to right now, brother. The men of the Lord. The more people, anybody, anybody. Yeah, that's why we out here week in, week out. Every Saturday you're gonna catch us down here. And Friday nights you're gonna catch us over there by the wheelhouse. I'm like at the same time trying to pull our people out of that slump and keep going. And from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. They are what? They are not hid from my face. I said so. The, all of our ways, they got hid from the Lord's face. He see everything that we doing. That's why He told us uh, to gather with uh, like-minded individuals. Get that. Genesis forty-nine. Hold it. He said, "Cause the Lord told us to get together like this." This is the book of Genesis. 
chapter 49, verse 1. Bring it out. And Jacob called unto his son and said, gather yourself together. Now we stay at home when it's cold outside. Gather, gather yourself, yourself together. together. Now we trying to find the next restaurant to go into. Gather, gather yourself together. together. That I may tell you that we shall come to pass. So, so like, that I shall tell you that we shall befall you in the last day. He said, so we got to gather together and tell our people what's going to happen in the last days. That's, what's, that's what we're doing as, as fishermen. And that's what we're doing as, as watchmen of the Lord. And before I came home, I, I, I'm, I'm open-minded. I learned how to be open-minded person. All the dogs are dead. These two they got to say. You know what I'm saying? This was the last issue before I came home that was unique to me. Be like. Yeah, that's why we give giving our people the words of life, because the Lord's not dealing with religion. When they go to religion, religion is vain. They all they made up by so-called white men, whether it's Rastafarian, whether it's Muslim, whether it's Lutheran, whether it's Baptist, whether it's Jehovah Witness, Seven Day of Venice, See, all these things, they, they made up by so-called white men. People were so angry. They thought Hebrew life was just white people, bro. Oh, no. I said, I'm just, I'm even, the, even the language that we know as Hebrew right now is Yiddish. It's, it's a Germanic language. They came up with this stuff. Like, like when they talk about Christ, they, call, they like to call him Yahshua or Yahusha. And the real name is Yahawashah because the Lord ain't dealing with vibes. That's right. He's not dealing with, right. with, uh, with, with all these different characters. They got uh, apostrophes and stuff. Like, they making up words when... when the Lord made an al uh, uh, alphabet. It's called the al alphabet. That's where uh, that's where you even get the term alphabet from, because they like to take everything and try to twist it to fit their agenda. So we got our own characters. And again, it was good. I was like, you stick around, brother. We can actually give you that whole alphabet to break everything down, and show you how these words work. Because we back down here, got some down here, sir. And we served it, brother. You got one of the flowers? Yeah, but nah, I ain't get no flowers, man. My name, I man. said this is right there on the, uh, the bottom of that flower, right there. Just show what time we out here every week. Neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled my land. So you hear that, brother? I want you to hear a couple of verses right quick. And first I will recompense their iniquity and, and their sin double. I said, so the Lord, he actually going to recompense people double for their works. The same way you said that uh, for every action, there's a reaction. Uh, you call it karma. You know, that, yeah. that it's that energy that you put out to the world and you get that back. Because when you put the energy out, you're keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. The Lord see that. So he's going to bless you in return. Go ahead. Because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. I said, and everything in this land we know it, uh, uh, that we know of is detestable. They all abominable things. You know any abominable things to the Lord? Like what some things that He look at is just downright filthy. You know any? Give me a. Go ahead and go ahead to a couple of the laws. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. You know what swine is, brother? The swine is that, that, that nasty yeah. pig, man. Though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed. So though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed like a, like a cattle, like cleaning animals. Some of the uh, cleaner animals have to be cleaned. Yet he chew it, not the cud. Say so he don't chew the cud. You know what that means? Like the pig, he just, I'm like the uh, pig, it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have multiple stomachs. It doesn't right. actually regurgitate its food. Yeah, so when you, yeah, like when you look at cattle, you see them just sitting there chewing for a long time. That's them actually digesting their food. Pigs don't do that, go ahead. He is unclean to you. Uh -huh. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. What did the Lord say? They, they are unclean to you. Say the Lord said that that is just completely unclean. And then read on. These, these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. What kind of things you like to eat out of the waters? Fish. Everybody asks around, find the 
<laughs> what kind of fish you bought? It's, it's a gang of that kind of fish. I don't eat, uh, I don't eat like fish for real. No, I don't. You like, uh, you like shrimp? Yeah, that's like, you know, I'm like a fish. Some of the seaports. Like dip it in a cocktail <laughs> sauce? Yeah. Man, let's see what the boy <laughs> said. These shit he eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever well, had fins and scales in the waters. You know, have what? They had fins and scales in the waters. Said the, uh, the shrimp have uh, fins and scales on them? I mean, they got little legs. They don't really have fins and scales. Like, fins is what, they, you know, like horns. That's what make the. the nah, they don't got none of that. Yeah, they don't have them. Like the little peel, like the peel and strip off. Yeah. And that's disgusting. Because when you look at a, 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 a shrimp, that's actually just like a roach in the, in the water. The same way, like when you when you see roaches, what 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 do roaches do in the middle of the night? Like when they know lights on, and everybody's sleeping. They turn around. Yeah, they go in there and they're eating eating all the crumbs and stuff you left from, from when you had dinner and you ain't cleaning off the counter. That's what the roaches do. So that's the same thing that the shrimp doing. They actually down there cleaning out the water. They like the the algae. Whatsoever had fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. So you're supposed to eat all the things out of the water that got fins and scales. You're supposed to eat all the things that got fins and scales in the water. Said, see what the Lord said about it. Uh, they shall be even an abomination unto you. So that's one of those are things that are considered abomination to the Lord. How people love eating uh, lobster? Lobster got fins and scales. Or is it come in a hard, nasty shell? And people gotta crack it open and, and, and dip it in all kinds of stuff. They gotta pull out a poop sack out of it. I said, that's because you shouldn't be eating that stuff. But our people love eating these things. That's why the so called black people are number one in, in diabetes and uh, high blood pressure and health. Because they eat all these things they shouldn't be eating. You know what? You can't eat the next shred. It's a combination in that too, because our people love frying up everything. You're supposed to be eating grease like too much of it. Yeah. You ain't supposed to eat nothing that, you know, too much. Being like being gluttonous just ain't, ain't good for you. I, I, I look at I look at life. I look at life going to the store. I be like, for real, man. I just eat none of this stuff for this. So it's so much. I would eat, I would eat, I would eat. Yeah, that's, that's why everything that we do eat, we gotta eat it according to the Lord. That's why we going into these verses and bring it out. Because now that you know that you can eat the fish that got fins and scales, it ain't nothing wrong with eating fish. So you, you can get you some snapper, you can get some uh, whiting, some jack, some buffalo, some salmon, some cod, some flounder. There's, there's a gang of different fishes out there that you can eat. And all of them have fins and scales. That's what we bring it out. They, they, everything that's in Leviticus 11, that's kosher. Right there. They say even when it comes to, that's what I'm saying, you can't eat that pig. There's plenty of things you can eat other than, than pork. Yeah, yeah. All types of things, different things besides getting pork. Because with the pork, like people love eating. Uh, what's the what's the main thing everybody get on, on Thanksgiving? They ranch. So it's that nasty ham. I said, and then when people get pieces, of what they get? They get bacon. They get sauce. They get bacon. There's other types of bacon. There's turkey bacon. Some people don't like turkey bacon. So if you want that same texture as, as the pork bacon, get you some beef bacon. Beef bacon got that same crunch to it, and, and, and you know it's like a little it fatty. Oh man, that, okay. that beef bacon is hard. Oh, I eat this good. Nah, nah, you like this one? That meat is eating. You know what I'm saying? You said like what? No, I said first they said like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. What you could oh, yeah, eat it. Okay. That ain't what, oh, let me do something. Nah, nah, that me says eating what I bought, what I like. Eat the so that ain't what the Lord is saying. He yeah, said yeah, it's yeah. abomination to you. So it's some abomination, you should put that thing down. You just, it's like you in the middle of eating a bacon cheeseburger, you should want to be, hey man, I'm from the pool. They put my hands up. You don't want the Lord to come back. You just still eat it. Give me that uh, Isaiah 66 potato. Yeah, thank you. Bring it out.
I was about to say, even for the school shots, man, they used to, my dad used to argue with them for hours. Yeah. They was like, you gotta have this shot. Right. You gotta have this shot. No. no. Hey, man, when I got out of high school and I started working in the food industry, they showed me that they was like, uh, you gotta go get the... Uh, hepatitis A. Yeah, the hepatitis shot. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just so you can be able to make a piece. Man, I've been making food all my life in the creek. <laughs> my brothers are still alive, man. <laughs> when my dad went there and my mom had to work, I was there to take care of one of my brothers any day. Which means now I gotta go get a shot. Man. That's, that's, I had to have a finish up that way. with flames of fire. Uh huh. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And now it's about to get into why he coming back to plead with all flesh for the sword. Right. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Shall be a few. Shall be many. many. No, it's just going to be a couple people from St. Louis, maybe some in Chicago. Shall, shall be, be many. many. Uh -huh. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the waters behind one tree in the midst. He the swine's flesh. He said they hide behind the tree. Because you know that's how people, they figure out. Oh, if ain't nobody seeing me, I'm going to I, I can go over here and ain't nobody gonna go about it. Or even if you tell somebody something, you know, they ain't gonna stop you from doing it because they be like, hey, it ain't me. You know, he on the side. I ain't tell them to do that. They, you know, that's wicked. Go ahead. And the abomination and the mouse. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the borders behind one tree in the mix, eating swine's flesh. You know what? Eating Eat swine's flesh. Eating bacon. Eating swine's flesh. Eating ham. Eating swine's flesh. The pork chop. Eating swine's flesh. Chitlins. Eating swine's flesh. And the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, said the Lord. I said, and they eat all kind of detestable things. What's the uh, the stigma about the Chinese restaurant? I said, that, that, that ain't chicken and beef you eat, it's cat, rat, and dog. Check this out, man. I'm gonna say before I go, man. And it's sad. I was coming out of school, man. They made us get up. They would. They didn't even see the flag. They don't just go down. They don't have to see the flag. They don't have to see the flag. They made us like, shut That's a beautiful thing, man. They don't have to see the flag. They don't have to see the flag. Yeah, yeah. We just talking about that. I mean, everything did, but when we was young, they don't have to see the flag. 
Satan knows that he only got a little bit of time. But this place is falling apart. Like you ever heard of uh, the Apocryphal? That's the 14 books that they, that the uh, Catholics took out of the Bible. In the book of Second Ezra, they talk about how he only got a, a, a short time left. And Ezra was like 2,500 years ago. And he was saying in the studio that, that we was in the last day. And now we spent our whole lives knowing that we in the last days. And it's because it's time. And the Lord is going to come back with, with vengeance, man. But, but uh, he going to want to destroy people, man. Give me uh, Zechariah uh, 13. Ooh. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16. Break it out. These six things do the Lord hate. Say, so there's six things that the Lord hates. Go ahead. Ye seven are an abomination unto him. And the Lord uses the number seven a lot in the Bible because that's the number of completion. Go ahead. A proud look. A what? A proud look. What's, uh, what happens in June? What do they call it nowadays? Ain't that pride, huh? See, because everybody's proud. They made a pride for a man. It's madness. I'm like, and our people are always proud. Everything that they do, they they so, they so called got proud. You would think pride is a good thing. You'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I should be proud that I did that. Man. It's something totally different. Yeah, only thing we proud of is serving the Most High God, and we pray that He never take our candlestick away. Right. right. So that's one thing that the Lord hates. It's, it's a proud look. He hates when people are proud. Boy. He wants you to be humble and be lying. A lying tongue. Yeah. I said, what do people love doing? How they lie about this any damn thing? Said, you come home late and your your woman like, where you where you been? And you go, oh, well, I've been I've been doing overtime. No, no, I'm just here for a long time. And then your check coming is the same thing as it was last week. Don't make no sense, right? What does the, the rap music nowadays make our people want to do? What is the main thing that rap music talks about? The main thing that all the, the all of our TV shows shake, to shake, twerk, shake, twerk, kill, murder. That's what power is about. That's what being a rapper is about. That's what uh, snowball is about. Don't fall, don't All of our brothers, they can't stand each other, so that's all the music is about. Uh, hunt them down, kill them, spin the block on them. Everybody got ops. I'm like, then, 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 when he, if he would have uh, read more and, and to the next verse, it would have talked about that the men are stepping out on their women. And what, that's what, that's going to lead to what? If all the men are out of the house, that's going to lead to a bunch of single mothers. Yeah. And now the single mothers, yeah. they leaning yeah. on the government. Yeah. And what what happened? Yeah. They So now you say her raising a kid by yourself. It was a this was a side note. Her uh, first son got in trouble with a, another boy in school recently. And when they had the parents come in there, you know, it, so it's one for the moms, sir. Then the the other girl sitting there yelling, talking about her son. The one that's causing the issue when his her son is being a bad. I'm like, and then then you go and you find out about this sister life, man, and she ain't got no man around. And I'm like, the, the, that child is her man. Because she's pregnant again, and, and her little 13 year old son is there taking pictures, rubbing her belly. He the one that's sitting there wearing, they wearing matching clothes. <laughs> they got on the same Jordans. It is madness. That's, what, that's what's going on with our people now. Some, All the men have left the house. And, well, I say some they, women they, even they, taking maternity pics with their son butt naked. Yeah, yeah, that's madness. Check this out. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. My best friend ain't seen me in years. He asked me about myself. What you doing, man? You, you know what I'm saying? You mad? Nah, I ain't mad. Uh, yeah, I just turned 44. I just turned 44 December 1st. You were saying serious? Yeah, man. 
That's right. Nations of people, bro. I said so. Don't wait. That the Lord made eighteen nations of people. Which nation would you come from? I can't, man. I can't. 
So this this is your nationality right here, bro. Book of John, chapter 1, verse 47. Bring it out. Jesus saw Nathan coming to him. So so you how much I Christ. He walked up on another brother and said, and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed. A what? An, an Israelite, Israelite indeed. indeed. What is his brother? An Israelite, Israelite indeed. In whom is no God. They say that you want to be an Israelite with no God in your system, man. You don't want to be caught up with any of them things that we're going into. That was a, a seven things that's abomination unto the Lord. Hey, I got a best friend in Israelite. This is the book. You an Israelite, bro. That's <laughs> right. You come through here every day and crazy I'm about like it. Trump. Crazy about hey, it. Hey, that's like You got to have that zeal for the Lord, man. Because in the world, we had zeals for everything else. Then we, we had zeals for hitting legs, for, for rolling dice. We had a zeal for, for finding uh, women on a the, on the Friday and Saturday night. We had a zeal to want to, 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 wanna, uh, to, to wanna rob people, to want to murder people. Be caught up in everything else other than keeping the law of sex and saying amen. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. I robbed other churches. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 22. Are they Hebrews? Are they what? Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? Are they what? Are they Israelites? So am I. What are you, brother? This brother's a Hebrew. This brother's an Israelite. This brother's a Hebrew. This brother's an Israelite. God. That brother's a Hebrew. That brother's an Israelite. Bring brother. it out. What are you, brother? An Israelite, brother. All right, turn that side around for him so we can see that. I said, so knowing that you're an Israelite, which tribe would you come from? Because now people gonna call you a black man, you gotta be like, hey, hold up. So you what's on the other side of that? Judah. Be what? Say it loud. Judah. That's oh, right. I said, brother, it's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Bro. Indeed. So when they call you black, they're like, hey man, ain't black. That's the color of a crayon box. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. But knowing that. What do we need to be doing in these last days? Because it ain't enough to just know what tribe we're from, know that we're Israelite. What come with that? It's a great power comes great responsibility. I'm asking, bro. Man, that's a Muslim. That's a disrespect, man. Man, I just want more disrespect, man. I said, yeah, we're not dealing with our last name because it's our last captivity. See, we, our last name now has become Yasha Allah. That's Israel. That is oppressed with power. Bring it out. I said, and having that power, what is our power, brother? Give me uh, some right 17 11. What's our power, brother? Knowing that we got all the power in the world, we're going to be in rulership. What that look like, brother? I need to know these things when you leave. I'm going to show you what you're proud of. Man. 17, I'm going to make sure I bring twins with me next time I come. Yeah, oh, hey, I'll break. Bring as many brothers and sisters as you can. Cold with it, though. Get in the cold with it. Cold with it. Cold this is the book wet. of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them what? He gave them knowledge. Uh-huh. And the law of life. And the what? And the law of life uh -huh. for inheritance. I said, this is our heritage. Getting back to the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. Bring that up. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So now that you know that you Israel, what does the Lord require? But to fear the Lord thy God. To do what? But to fear the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in all his ways. To do what? To, to walk, walk in all his ways. Way. You got to walk in all of the ways of the Lord. What would that look like? 
What do you think walking in the ways of the Lord means, bro? Yeah. And so that's that's walking in the things that we was telling you not like not eating that uh that swine, yeah. not eating the lobster, the shrimp. The Lord's not dealing with shrimp, man. The Lord like he wants you to eat lamb. He wants you to eat that's buffalo. He wants you to eat chicken, turkey, that's things like that. He wants you to eat clean things, things that ain't no abomination, things that ain't gonna kill you. you know what? And to fear him, I mean, but to uh, and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. What do we need to be doing? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. Lord. What's his brother about to start doing this in the day? To, to keep, keep the commandments of the Lord. Lord. You gotta keep the commandments of the Lord, brother. That's the whole duty of man, like the brother brought out earlier, uh, Ecclesiastes. This is the book of John, chapter 14. Verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And this is Jehovah speaking. This is Christ speaking right there. He said, if you love Christ, if you love the Most High, you're going to keep the law sections and commandments. Right. So with that, I ain't going to hold you up too much longer, brother. But yeah, next week, man, go ahead and, and come back hey, down here. Good job, y'all, man. I can't be safe out here. Say, what's your nationality, brother? It's your life. Oh, That's please. right! God. God, see that, man? Hey, that's what we come out here for. That's why we do this week in and week out. That's why we out here in the cold, we out here in the rain, we out here in the snow, when it's freezing rain, man. We gotta be out here trying to uh, trying to wake our people up. Give me how I got one and seven right quick. And the cheap place of concourse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the cheap place of concourse. Where they got all the lights, the freak off music going, man. I got one of six. I got one of six. Now give me uh give me the first seven with two and two. I got one of seven. This is the book of Haggai, chapter one, verse seven. Bring it out. Thus said the Lord of hosts. Consider your ways. Your what? Consider your ways. No, be the same. Consider your ways. No, just come as you are, brother. Consider, Consider your ways. ways. Uh -huh. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. And do what? And build a house. I say that we build in our temple, man. Dedicating it back to the Lord in these last days. Fleeing the ways of this world, man. Trying to get out of this Babylonian mindset, man. Overcoming all the wicked spirits and devils that the Most High has run through this place, man. Go ahead. The book of uh, First Samuel, chapter one, verse two. Bring it out. And he had two wives. Uh, two. Chapter 2, verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord, uh -huh. for there is none beside thee. Uh -huh. Neither is there any rock like our God. Uh -huh. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Do what? Talk, Talk no, no more, more so exceedingly proud. Only thing that we proud about is that the Lord chose us to come out of the ways of the world. Bring it out. Get the hell out the club. Told us to stop freaking out. Told us to stop uh, whoring out the daughters of Zion, man. Told us to put up our pants and show ourselves men. Bring that put out. Put down the damn pork. Put down the shrimp, the crab, the lobster. Put down the tall cans. Put down the damn blunts, man. Stop smoking the backwoods. Be sober, man. Talk Hit about the streets, it. man. Become a fisher of men. The same way that we was out there fishing for hoes, man, now we out here fishing for souls. Man. That's so right. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Uh -huh. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. Uh -huh. And by him actions go away. What the Lord say? And by him actions go away. So by the Lord, man, your actions are away. What's going on, brother? What be your nationality, man? Oh, yeah. I ain't going to keep you all night, man. Just give me a couple minutes. So what we on that show? You just filled out a job application. What box you gonna check? Like, so called black. Right. Got a question? Said most of the brothers wear black. You the same color as this brother Jackie? Said look at your skin. You the same color as that man? I'm not brown. 
Exactly. So that's confusion, man. Where did we learn that we was even black from? Who told us that? Exactly. And saying, and then people ain't even white. Turn that, turn that sign around for me, Come, come down right there. Say, ain't it funny that the word black always is a negative kind of take? That every time you think about black, that it's something bad. You can be black male, be black bald. I mean, you be walking down the street like last week, it was freezing rain, they had black ice. You don't even see it. You just driving straight, and the next thing you know, you end up in a ditch. But when it comes to something white, it's always meaning something pure. What they call the little white line? It's, like, it's just a little white line. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't gonna hurt nobody. Yeah, white color crimes. Yeah, they, they do something major, but then they be like, Embezzle 2.3 billion. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's only 2.3 billion. It's only, they ain't heard nobody. It's, it's, it's got to get spent eventually. You know, these are things that we heard from, from our oppressors, man, because we learned from somebody else. Give me a Jeremiah 1740. Look at Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out and vow. Even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance that you I gave. You know what the word discontinue means? Yeah, yeah, you be, you be cut off from it, right? Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. I said, so we got discontinued from our heritage. And the Lord will be talking to the Israelites. Those are the people who will be talking to throughout the Bible. He said we discontinue from their heritage. Who else would you say is discontinued from their heritage, you say? Who else got, got raped, robbed, murdered, plundered, until they forgot everything about themselves? Until they forgot what customs that they had, the way that they dressed, the food that they ate, you know, like the, the, the holidays that they kept. So that would happen to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. I say, in the land which they know not. I say, before we were here, we didn't know what America was. America was a land mass, but we didn't know what America was before we came here. And how do we come here? Do we, do we pull up in, a, in an expedition, a brand new scat pack? We go to the airport, get on the 737, and fly on over here, and you know, then we landed. It's like, oh man, the, the, the temperature is different than it was when we was in. <laughs> so how do we get here? On the ship? So, hey, would you think I was just making it up if I said that was in the Bible? For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. They say, and the Lord said that these things happen because we kindled a fire in his anger. They say, because we, in modern terms, we pissed the Lord off. Go ahead. We shall burn forever. I said, and then that indignation is going to burn forever. Not forever is in eternity. It, it's never going to end to infinity and beyond. It's saying forever is in just a, a long period of time. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Oh. So you're familiar with Moses? Bible. Uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah. What you know about? Him? Like, what's the, the major thing that he did? Yeah, he parted the sea and he was getting his people out of out of captivity because they was in the they was uh, in, they were slaves to the Egyptians. So he had to actually uh, part the sea so he can get them away from the people that they were in captivity. So then I'm about to, the passage I'm about to have a brother read. This is after that happened. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said that he would bring them into Egypt again. So I'm, I'm going to make it quick because there's verses that actually back up what Egypt means. But Egypt, uh, when you actually look it up in the Hebrew, that's just going back to being in bondage. That's being in slavery. So that's right. Which. So he said he'd bring them into slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. No, the fort is fort. With ships. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt not see it no more again. So the Lord said that we wouldn't see that physical Egypt again. We was already out of that contempt. We ain't dealing with that no more. Go ahead. Thou shalt be selected. Thou shalt see it no more again. And that ye shall be sold. Ye shall be what? Ye, ye shall, shall be, be sold. sold. So when we came off of the boats, we'd be sold. Who was we sold to? Exactly. Go ahead. Until your enemies. Until who? Until, Until your, your enemies. enemies. So being sold to the so-called Caucasians, what did the Lord just call them? 
our enemies. That's right. right. Brother, follow, follow them along. <laughs> For by a man and by a woman. Saying that we become slave man and slave woman. And no man shall buy you. And nobody will be able to buy us. Nobody will be able to redeem us. Like then we have a uh, Martin Luther King tribe. What happened to him? He ended up wanting to walk hand in hand with him. He used to be like, hey, we can, can we all just get along? You know, with me. Yeah, talk about that, that everybody could just be one. I had a, about dream. He had a dream. That, that little black boys, little black girls, I mean, little white girls and stuff be walking hand in hand. And we doing that now, and what happened? All these, uh, all these, these racial spirits, they coming back. And they, they actually persecute our people for being together. But then that's all we see on TV. So it's just mass confusion indoctrinating the people to think that this is what's right. So right. Point. Now, I want to say they killed him before you can tell that second half of that dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what I say. <laughs> yeah, like what they don't even tell you is that when Martin Luther King, after he gave that speech, he went over to the land of Israel and then he, he saw how all that actually belongs to us. He came back and then he uh, he gave that mountaintop speech about how he seen you know where we're supposed to be. Told our people that he led them into a burning house and then that's when they killed him. And he got killed by the CIA. And then then uh, Malcolm X tried to do the same thing, tried to rouse up our people, but he did it the wrong way. He tried to go through the nation of Islam. That's dealing with Arabs. Yep. That ain't our people. Yep. So then they end up killing him up. And then Marcus Garvey. They backed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They backed over. I was like, it, it, that's just a thing our people love doing, because another curse is Deuteronomy 28.54. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Shall be what? Shall be evil tell his brother. So our people used to be nice and loving toward each other. Walking up and down the street, you see another so-called black man. He's like, hey man, how's it going, brother? How the family doing? You need anything? You straight? But now, how are people be doing? Sizing you up. Look at, hey man. I like your shoes, man. What size is that? You know? 11. Hey, hey. <laughs> so talking about you, you got a pair of ones, man? And I like that. Now people, when, when they go buy these shoes to come out, they come out the gallery and they're getting shot down. Say, now our, our, our people, uh, they, they make music about killing each other. They make music about selling drugs to each other. They make music about robbing each other. That's all hate in your heart, then what? Two. And of his wife, and towards his wife, of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children. So then he'd have an evil heart after he done hating his brother, he gonna have an evil heart toward the women. So then after he got an evil heart toward his wife, then what happened? What does that lead to? If, if a man and a woman, they decide to split, they done had kids now, he leave out the house, what they leave her? Broken home. Yeah, broken home. That just leave her to be a single mother. And now, and now we we make fun of those things like uh like on Wild and Out they got the baby daddy baby mama who wants some drama you know what I'm saying and, and our people are in just the domestic disputes all the time the men ain't in the household go ahead and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave I said and then he ended up leaving the children in turn so now he hate his brother he hate his wife he he didn't already knocked her up. He ran out the house, so now he locked up, and now she gotta raise the kid on her own. And now we making music like Tupac, Brenda got a baby. You know, and, and these are things that have just become a cycle throughout throughout uh, the so-called black and Hispanic households, man. It has become a stigma. Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we go have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's